Hey guys, this is Tyler here from Rehab to Fab Designs. Um, I am doing a redo makeover today because sometimes you just have to call it a loss. I have had this French Provincial dresser here behind me um, for sale for several months and haven't had any bites on it. I had it painted in a light gray color and had a stencil design on the front and I haven't had any bites. So I am going to be repainting it today. Um, I am using Dixie Belle's new silk line in a color called Conch. It's a beautiful kind of... Um, light pastel pink color um, and I'm going to be using a synthetic brush a flat it's a one inch and then I have a French tip I'm going to be using because it does have some detail on the front um, I did go ahead and prime this piece normally I wouldn't do that with the silk line um, but I did for this because this piece had previously been sealed in wax after I finished painting it um, and we used mineral spirits to kind of remove most of that wax and sand it down but it was still a little bit slick um, so I decided to go ahead and put a primer on it just in case um, um, and for a little bit better adhesion, and I'm about to get started. Um, we're gonna do it in this color pink, and I think I'm gonna do um, some kind of design on the sides of the drawers. Let's get started. I applied one coat of Dixie Belle's Boss Primer with a foam roller. I did this to help with adhesion because it was previously sealed in wax. We did use mineral spirits to try and remove the wax and also sanded the piece down, but it still felt a little bit slick to me. Apply the paint to one panel at a time using your one inch synthetic brush. To minimize brush strokes and ensure a smooth finish, go back over the whole panel, working from top to bottom in one swoop, working left to right. Always watch your corners to make sure your paint doesn't pull here because it will cause drips. Continue on the other side. One good thing about the new silk line of paint is that it does not require a top coat. This will save you time and steps. I switched to my French tip brush here because I was working in detailed areas. This allowed me to really get the paint down in those tiny crevices that I would have had a hard time getting to otherwise. By now, my primer was dry on my drawer front, so I started applying paint to them. Again, we're using this silk all-in-one paint called Conch. It's a pretty light pink color here, and I applied it using a roller and a foam brush. I did decide to go ahead and do a second coat of paint on the piece, just because where I had used my roller, I could see those tiny little areas in it that are created with rollers where you can still see the underlying color, which was white for my primer. I'm always amazed at how fast you can get done painting when you use a roller, and every time I use it, I remember that I should use one more often. I've attached some information here about the new Silk All-in-One paint. It's a lot of information, so I recommend hitting the pause button. That way you can read through these two screens. The most difficult part about using the Silk line is choosing a color. check out my super cute helper for the day. This is Remington and he loves Dixie Belle products. Stick around here on our YouTube channel for another video where we use Dixie Belle's new silk screen stencil and gilding wax to complete the makeover on this French Provincial chest of drawers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.